If elected, how specifically will you and your government help protect nature and strengthen biodiversity in Canada and here in Burlington? Protecting green spaces is something that I know residents of Oakville North Burlington are passionate about. In July, the Liberal government announced $9 million in funding to better conserve lands across southern Ontario. Through approximately 63 projects, Conservation Ontario and regional conservation authorities will continue to protect grasslands and wetlands. Just recently, Conservation Halton announced 50,000 trees will be planted, funded by our government as part of our larger efforts to plant 2 billion trees. We will fight climate change by capturing and storing carbon and making our communities more resilient. We will also support bio biodiversity, including species at risk and migratory birds. This is a key part of our plan to conserve up to 1 million square kilometers of land and inland waters to fight climate change and address biodiversity loss. New Democrats are committed to protecting nature, beginning with enshrining the right to a healthy environment in a Canadian Environmental Bill of Rights and strengthening the Canadian Environmental Protection Act. We will also make it harder to build coal mines, ban single-use plastics and the export of plastic waste, and work with municipalities such as Burlington to improve waste management and recycling. We will support Indigenous-led nature conservation and land use and climate planning, invest in forest management and reforestation, force big oil companies to pay to clean up inactive wells, create local food hubs, and develop national food waste strategy. We will also monitor and protect pollinator health by partnering with farmers and communities and will address the disproportionate impacts of pollution and loss of biodiversity on marginalized communities through the creation of an Office of Environmental Justice. I think that when we see the benefit in terms of the maybe even the savings that we have in government um, from mobilizing the public uh, through education and awareness, I think this sense of duty to land and, and country um, in people would not only uh, help us already mitigate some of the issues that we're creating as a, as a society, but also clean them up. And I think very important to this, I would definitely be looking for the support of the communities, the groups, the associations, the committees that are looking at these issues because we obviously know the data works. We, we've been saying it for years. We, we've known since the 80s and 90s we needed to take these actions. Um, and now we're finally getting to a point where people are realizing it's a requirement. So the associations will play an integral role. We would com communicate those concerns to leadership here and in Ottawa. And we would do it with the consent and the support of Indigenous people. I think they are the best custodians of their land. And I think we would benefit from their involvement. Thank you for the question.